was over to the side. All it's right, good. and here we are. Hello, everyone. It is Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday. Fucking time. Did we go live yet? So we for it to pop up. There it is. Hi, everybody. It is now Thursday night. We are almost the start of a weekend. It is time for Angela. a holiday weekend. So too. Is it a holiday? Memorial Day is Monday. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Which means the post office is closed. Oh, I got to get packages out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I do too. I did not realize that. It, so, yeah, keep that in mind. It is a holiday weekend. I like those people that take two weeks to pay their shipping. And then as soon as they pay it, they think I'm supposed to ship it out that second. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I've had that problem well. Yeah, I was a little behind in some of my shipping this week, so it's like I got to catch up. I did a lot of shipping yesterday, so I think tomorrow morning I'll ship more stuff and be up to date, and that should be good. Yeah, me too. So anything interesting has been happening or whatnot or? No. Nah. Nah. Well, I started a Facebook auction on Tuesday nights on a Facebook site. Oh, did you? Did it work? Mm -hmm. I didn't do that great. Well, you can link um, your StreamYard to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Yeah. Well, I don't think that these groups like you to do that because Facebook people do not understand YouTube people. Yeah, that's true. But YouTube people can do both. Yeah. Facebook See, I, I link my auctions to when I do my auctions, I link it everywhere. Yeah. So I tell people, just come to the YouTube side. But you're right. The people who are strictly Facebook, they're like, I don't know how to do YouTube. They're like, how's that work in, in YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do some research like I had to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to be your mom or your teacher. Well, we have a couple of people that just entered in. Say hello. Welcome to the Thursday evening auction. As always, if you're looking for something in particular, just write it in the chat and maybe one of us could pull it out. Well, Please. probably Melanie could pull it out. Anything. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm doing clothing tonight. Um, I am doing a giveaway halfway through. And at the end, I'm doing a jewelry jar. It's packed full. I could, I can hardly get the lid on it. Those are always successful. These are I've fun. Got, I've got one piece of clothing. Oh, that's cute. It's in a Starbucks little love. Uh, yeah, hi, Julie. Julie. Yeah. Hi, Julie, girl. I love Julie. She always pays her invoices. Why am on I time. not seeing anybody? Hold on. There she is. Yes. Oh, Julie is great. I know. There was a slight delay by, by it popping up. So when you said hello, Julie, I'm like, I don't see anybody yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, at the end of the night, everybody that made, every time you make a purchase, you get an entry for this. And then halfway through, we're doing a, a coupon giveaway. Oh, nice. Hi, Lisa C. Well, Evening. I know. All right, gonna, we're going to get started, Mel. You're up. I think we're going to get started. And I'm really, I'm going to focus on lasting the entire time. Think I can do it? That'll be amazing if I can last the entire Let's time. see if you could go till nine o'clock. I hope so. I really do. Yeah, I think he me stupid stuff, so it's going to make me feel stupid. Anyway, haha, first item up for bid is I have this leather wooden wine box. It's actually pretty cool. It has the metal, and you could put, like, wine. You could put warm things in it. Um, you could put bottles, whatever you want. I'm going to start this off at $4. I think that's a good price. It has a metal class. It has the leather um, leather with the metal um, brackets. So it's a leather box. Hello, Lisa C, Julie. And we've got a, like I said, it's great for carrying um, bottles of wine or anything, um, oil bottles or anything like that that are nice and big. Or you could just put uh, like paintbrushes in here or something big, close it up. And you have a little carrying case. Any interest in the ox? And it's made out of all wood, wood, metal, and leather. 
if there's no interest, I'll simply bring in another item. It's one of those nights tonight, but yes, I will bring in another item and I will be happy, happy, happy. Um, hold on, let me just see. I think, yes. Next thing I'm going to show is I have a collection of books. If anybody likes um, murder mystery type books, I have a collection by Susan Grafton. I call her the ABC author because what she does is she has a murder mystery for every letter of the alphabet. So you'll get B, C, F, G, H, I, J. It's almost a sequence of the first a couple of books. I'm going to sell all of these books for three dollars. Anybody's interested in Susan Grafton? So, like for example, uh, J is for judgment, I is for innocence, H is for homicide, G is for gumshoe, F is for fugitive, C is for a corpse, B is for burglar, and each book revolves around that entire theme. Oh, cool! And, yeah, and she's a national bestseller author. The books are in great condition. I mean, you can see how. Uh, crisp and clean they are. They are read through, but they're in really good condition. So if you like a good murder mystery, that's the type of uh, book she does. And she does the entire alphabet. It's like A, B, C, D, A to Z. And each one has a different murderous theme. Now, is she still alive? I don't know. I'm going to assume she's still alive. Oh. Yeah, she's probably still alive. She's a little, yeah. And these were in 1993, 94. So, oh, these are also first edition ones too. Cool. Oh, cool. That I mean, not that it really matter. Yeah, not that it really matters, but with, uh, I know first edition usually makes a difference with um, the hardcover rather than the, yeah, this is first edition too. So oh, this is, this she one. has read some of them. Pretty good, huh, Lisa? They're, they're good. And like I said, she's the ABC. ABC D, she does the whole thing. But they're not real. It's not true, right? Uh, no, no, no. These these are these are uh, fiction. Okay. Okay. So if anybody's interested in Susan Grafton, I've got a collection of her books. And then the third item I am going to show is I have. <laughs> this is a weird thing. It's the Black Chin Hummingbird, the Saga of One Family. It's actually a DVD. It's really cute. It's all on hummingbirds. Oh, Lisa and it, said she, she died, died three years, years ago. Oh, did she, Lisa? I didn't oh, even wow. realize that. Okay, thank you for informing me. I, I figured she was still alive, but I guess she passed away. So this is a documentary. It's from Near Famous Production 2010. And it's all about the history of like hummingbirds of one family. So it's kind of cute if you like uh, those nature shows. I'm selling this for $3. If anybody's interested in the black chin hummingbird and look at her little babies. But the amazing thing about the hummingbird is how fast their wings are. It's like to actually be able to capture the wing shot like that without it being blurry is amazing. Oh, I love the hummingbird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get them every now and then. She died in 2017 in Louisville, Kentucky. Hello, Sharon. Welcome to the show. Hey, Sharon. That's my girl. Okay, and if there's no interest, I'll be bringing some like weird items today. Just something completely different and out of the ordinary. So we will go to you, Angie. All right. Okay, I have clothing tonight. So here we go. I'll just turn my camera a little bit. This oh, she never finished the Z book? Oh, how weird. Oh. I'm assuming somebody else must have finished it for her. Wow. Okay, so this is a green tank top. It's very stretchy. It has this little bit of sequins around the top. It's going to start at $1. It is made by Weaver's Girl, and it's a large. Very stretchy. No stains, nothing. It's just some... Cute little tank top you can wear under your jacket or something. It's got this cute little green sequence. So we're starting that at $1 bill. Uh, let's see. Mm. 
not sure how many we have in here. It says 12. Wow. Excellent. Well, you got sharing in for a dollar. All right. So I assume we'll sell it to Sharon because I don't see any other interest. If anyone else is interested, you got to come in at two. I'm looking for two. All right, let's sell it to Sharon for one dollar. That would be my girl Sharon. One dollar on the tank. It's a green one and it's sweet. Thank you, Sharon. All right, number two item. This is a large red sweatshirt. I know it's summer, but still. Uh, it's made by the Rawlings Company or Russell Athlete Athletics. Russell Athletics. So this is a men's large. You can tell that because it's huge. It's got like this really neat little stitching in the front. It's just like new condition. And I uh, did these Batman and Robin on here and they are in an ink. So it will never come out. You don't feel it or anything. It's done with sublimation. And we're going to start this one at three. Nice and big and baggy. And I just thought this was just so cute and subtle, you know, just not not in your face, but saying, hey, I'm cool. <laughs> so we'll start that at three. Sorry, I had to have some coffee. And this is a men's large, so it is huge. Some some things are made large. Some people's larges are like other people's two X's, and this looks like about a two X. Just saying. Any interest? I think it's getting hot down here. Well, it used to be cold. I have to turn on a furnace. Now I'm down in my craft room in the basement. Now it's it's all of a sudden getting hot. And if there's no interest, we'll pass on him. We'll go to number three. This is a chambray, which is just another word for denim look. Um, it is an off the shoulder. You can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. It's made by Style Envy, and it's an extra large. It's got this little, um, I don't know what you call that anymore. I forgot. It's been ages. Um, but here's the sleeve. So sweet. And we're going to start this one at three. It's in excellent condition. Gosh, I think I wore this once. I mean, literally, I know I say that all the time, but it's the truth. So we'll start this at three. I like it because you can wear it off the shoulder, but you know, you can wear a tank top underneath of it and it looks cute because it's denim. It goes with everything. And then it's got this little cute little bottom. So you could like wear a tank top with spaghetti straps or something under this and then wear it off your shoulder. The sleeves are three quarters, really sweet. And Sharon's in at three. Anybody want to come in at four? We got Sharon at three. Yes, Nathan, this is live. Are you here to buy and uh, see an auction, Nathan? We're having a live auction right now as we speak. You're not watching a rerun. You're watching a live auction. And yes, we do ship. And if you want to bid, that's fine. But if you're new here, you will have to uh, give us your info. If you bid and, and win. 
He's okay. a troll. What? Hi, Christy, you made it. And if you're here to troll the room, please don't because we don't need any. We're, we're old hags here and we don't need any shit. <laughs> if you're here to bid and play and have fun, then we want you to stay. All right, this is sold to Sharon for $3 and we're going back over to you, Mel. Hey, hello, Christy. Welcome to the show. All right, so the next thing I have is I have a glass vanity mirror. I forgot that I have to clean it, but it's a glass vanity mirror. There's no um, chips, no crafts. Starting this off at $8, it has a very ornate metal gold leaf trim with the little flowers and daisies. But then there's the actual mirror portion. And the back, there's no maker's mark or anything like that, but it's a standard oval mirror. Hello, Christy, she's like me. And as far as how big this is, this is 750. So this is 13 inches long. It's a 13 inch long oval mirror. And I'm starting bid at eight dollars. Great for your little perfumes, your little um, I don't know, hairbrush, little jewelry. You have it right on your vanity. Yes, and then I you can paint yourself in white. Beautiful. You would paint it white. I would paint it white. It would be shabby chic. <laughs> that is very vintage, though. So those are mm -hmm. very sought after. Marion is in for eight. Hello, Marion. Welcome to the show. Marion. We love hey, Marion. He joined us. Any other interest for the mirror? No, we'll definitely go to Marion for eight. So I'm going to be happy, happy today. I, I don't know. I, you, you watch as the show progresses. I'm going to go into my world of like delusional yes. craziness. Yes, yes. <laughs> I did. They did give me a cortisone shot, though. Well, so that's good. Maybe that's why I'm feeling all loopy. God knows you need it if anybody. I does. have. What do I have? I have the stuff that streams are made of. This is 16 spine tindling episodes of ghost stories, visits from beyond the grave. These are all on DVDs. You're getting two DVDs over 16 hours of movies. And we're going to start this off at $4. If anybody's interested, sold to Marion. Thank you so much. She's getting the mirror. Any interest in the ghost stories? We've got Cold in the Grave, Landscape of Lost Dreams personal demons you'll wake the dead mirror mirror i should keep this for myself to look at these stainless blade Looking that's what i was thinking <laughs> Pete the reaper and the green eyed monster so it's all these 16 ghost stories i know i'm so into this i mean i would put it in the background as i'm working and just listen to the ghost stories as i'm but it's from 2004 echo bridge home entertainment and it's all ghost stories. Any interest? Four dollars DVD, sixteen hours of ghost stories for your listening pleasures to creep you out and scare you. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I I actually found another really cool item, but then when I did the comps on it, I'm like, oh no, nope, that's an eBay item. But it's a self-writing a uh, ghost planchette kit that's supposed to tap into your um ability to be psychic and write from beyond the grave. So I'm like, oh, that, that's an eBay item. <laughs> you have the ability to be psychic if you just want to die. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh my God, we're so That'll bad. That'll tap into your spirit. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you just die. Messages from the dead. Okay, next item I have, and I'm going to start this off at $10, but this is actually a pretty cool lot. Three sun visors for NASCAR. The first one you're going to get is Jeff Gordon, number 24. And um, like I said, they're sun visors, so it's not the full hat. It's just the uh, roundabout. But they're in really good condition. This is from Chase Authentics. Um, it is uh, Velcro adjustable. So that is um, Jeff Gordon, number 24. Then you'll get uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr., number 8. 
and it's the same company, the Chase Company, and it's Dale Earnhardt on the back. And then the third one is Lowe's Home Improvement, number 48, it says Hendrick uh, Motorsports. I cannot read his name. That looks like what, like Jimmy Johnson or something? I'm not too sure. You're going to get three. Yeah, it's Jimmy. It is Jimmy Johnson? Okay. Jimmy Johnson. I'm, not NASCAR. I'm not good with them. But they're three authentic uh, NASCAR. They have the um, NASCAR logos on them. Very good condition. Usable, but $10 for all three of them. Hi, Dean. Hello, Dean. Welcome to the show. Any interest in the three NASCAR? Oh, my goodness. I totally lost track of time. <gasps> Julie, you didn't lose track of time. We just literally started. I'm in my own little world, so it's like the happy, happy world. Any interest in the three NASCAR sun visors? And if there's no interest, I think, was that my third item? I think that, yeah, that was my third item. We are going to go to you, Angie. All right. This top is long sleeved it's blues it's got this cute little camel on it it's made by crown and ivy it's an extra large it's very stretchy it is new see how stretchy it is and here's the back isn't that cute and we're going to start it at three three dollars extra large we got Julie in at three does anybody want to come in at four before we call it down to Julie <laughs> even Sharon says hump day happy hump day hump day yeah <laughs> it is it is the cutest thing I love camels for some reason, they came in style for the first time that I can ever remember. I never remember a camel being in style. <laughs> it is now. Camels, donkeys, llamas. Last call on this. This is going to go to Julie for $3. Thank you, Julie. I'll get you an entry into tonight's draw drawing. Tonight's drawing is a jewelry jar at the end of the night. And then we're giving away a half time. Okay, so this is Julie's. Okay, my next item is a medium gildan heavy blend. This is a blue sweatshirt and it says swag. It has all these little cute drops on it. And here it is. It's in new condition. Here's the back. We'll start it at three dollars. Very big, large sweat sweatshirt for a medium. Yeah, right, Sharon. I know. Any interest in this? It's really cool. I love the coloring on it. It's got this really cool yellow and white with it. It looks really cool. Any interest? Looking for a $3 start. Yeah, you can't see it on the camera. This is a yellow. See it up close. All right, and let's go to number three. This is brown. The color is brown. It is a large. It is so cute. It's got this beautiful lacy crochet area. And I'm trying to see if it's got a name. Where did the tag go on this one? I don't know. 
Okay, so it's got these this little lace that comes up right here, and then the sleeves have that same little lace in them. It also has it at the bottom, so it's super long. And here's the back, and we'll start it at three. I love brown. Anything brown, love it. Sweatshirts are not selling. I wonder why. <laughs> All right, we got Sharon at three. Did okay. Yes. Did somebody buy the red sweatshirt with Batman on it? No. Okay, Julie likes would like it, I think. Okay, um, this one, Julie, is this the one you want for three? Let me know, sweetie, as I also have the swag one. Sharon is in at three on the lacy brown, so cute. Anybody want to come in at four? Okay, you want the Batman? All right, got you, Julie. Thank you for helping me with that, Bexy. I need extra, extra large and neutral colors. Oh, okay. Sharon is at three. We will call it down to you, Sharon, at $3, and we're moving back to mail. Okay, so somebody said weird uh, animal things. Not necessarily thin, but I, I think this is weird, so they're cute at the same time. They are little screaming kitty cat wall hangings that go on windows or go on refrigerators. It has little, um, uh, whatever you call these things. I forget what you call them. Little things that pop on windows of glass. I'm going to do a three pack. I've got a white one. I've got a calico one. And I've got a cute little red flying kitty. And I'm going to do three of them for $4. They're all like little flying weird cats. So kitty cat planes. They're weird. I love them when I saw them. I'm like, yes, I want those. They're brand new. They've obviously never been used. So they cling to your uh, mirrors, windows. Or can have them like in your washing dishes. I have the little stupid dancing. They'll stick to windows, Julie. Yes. Yeah, it has the little um, clingy things, whatever those things are. Pops on uh, windows. Suction cups. Suction cups. Thank you. I couldn't think of the name. The little suction cups. <laughs> you lick them and stick them and they'll stay there. <laughs> just lick them and suck them and do whatever I'm you just, do. I just couldn't think of the name. I'm like, whatever those things are. <laughs> But yeah, they'll stick to the um to windows or mirrors or the refrigerator. Um and they're made out of like a plastic resin. And like I said, they have the cute little uh weird kitty cat faces on it. <laughs> so I'm doing all three for four dollars if you're interested. Just like weird item of the day. Ghosts so the birds see them and don't crash, allergic to cats, so <laughs> Okay, so you're interested in these two? <laughs> are there any? Else? Put a bid in for four if there's any. They are cool looking. I got some from, yeah, I had multiple. So, Lisa, you were the one. I was going to say, I know somebody, I forgot who I sent them to. Lisa got them the last time. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, ladies, I'm sorry. I remember I, you having them. Yeah, I, I, I have a couple more. Um, And that's what I try to do is. Yeah, she said the faces are really cool because if you look yeah. carefully, they're like screaming kitties. Yeah, <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> um, wait, wait, did uh, yeah, I think Julie wants these or Julie does not want these. Julie, just put in if you want these or not. If you want them, I'll give them to you. If not, I'll I'll go to the next item. <laughs> All right. Ah. Lisa says I'm a dog person. 
All right, I have Knit Your Own Scarf Kit uh, from Wild Fable. It's a uh, maroon scarf kit. It has all the instructions that you need. I'm going to start this off. Oh, Julia's going to take it. Okay. I'm going to start this off at $4. $4. If anybody is interested. I don't know. I'm on a $4 kick today. Julie is getting... Uh, you got the kitty cats, Julie. Kitty clings. Any interest in the world? We're doing a scarf kit for four dollars. It does come with the um, the needles. It comes with the maroon thread, and it gives you the how-to instructions on how to knit your very own cozy scarf. Yes, it's um, it's coming into summer, but if you're like me, who has no clue how to knit, it'll probably take you till next winter to figure out how to knit this. <laughs> Is there an age on that? Um, there's no age. It's from Target, a 2009 collection. It's not necessarily meant for kids, simply because the knitting needles are sharp. But I'm assuming if it's like a young adult or a teenager, that would be great. But these were specifically uh, designed for adults. But I, I would say a teenager could work on this. It's 100% acrylic fiber. Hand wash cold. Um, it's called Berry Maroon Color, and it's from Target. But there's no age on it simply because it's it's for adults. Any interest in the scarf kit? I gave up owning cats. They always destroyed too much furniture. Thanks for get it too young. You need something young or you need something for older? Julie, I'm just curious. Because um, if you're looking for crafts for younger kids, I could bring some crafts because I do have craft sets. But if you're looking for older, then this would be for older, older kids. Okay. And if there's no interest in the crafts. I'll have to stop. Uh, I'm getting like ringed too many times. <laughs> okay, so if there's no interest, we'll put this aside. And the next item I have is I have. Oh. So now this is an interesting program. It's a DVD program for coaching people through depression, anxiety, and different sorts of stress management. It's from the Midwest Center collection, and I'm going to start this off at $5. It's Jumpstart DVD Coaching Series 1, 2, and 3. And each one, there's four discs total. And it starts off with the Jumpstart DVD starts with recognizing and believing, stopping your panic attacks, healthy, body, healthy mind, coping with guilt and negative talk, the power of relaxation. Then coaching number one talks about anxiety, depression, putting an end to your attacks, self-talk, expectations, eating, and exercising. Coaching disc two talks about stop being angry, assertive behavior, put an end to the what if thinking, get off guilt and worry, and how to address the obsessive scary thoughts that you may have. And then coaching volume three is the courage to change, time management, how to keep stress from becoming anxiety and getting beyond a growth spark. So this is an entire coaching um, from the Midwest collection. It's copyrighted from 1985 to 2006. So it is a program for life coaching. I'm going to have to have my seven-year-old grandson in for a week without their parents. Need a few things. Okay, so seven to nine-year-olds. Oh, so one grandson, one. All right, I'll see. Well, um, in between, I'll see what I have. If there's anything that could keep them busy, that should work. <laughs> Any interest in the coaching DVD series for life, life, health, and happiness? And if there's no interest, I think we are going to Angie. All right. This is a Lavon, L-A-V-O-N. It is a medium. It is very stretchy. And it's just like new condition. It's beautiful purples and reds and greens on a white 
a neat little t-shirt. There it is up close. Here's the back. It is very well made. And we're going to start this piece off at $3. Is it religious? This top religious? No, it's just got flowers on it. It's just a cute little t shirt. Lavon is a higher end name, though. Is what religious, Christy? Any interest? Oh, the tapes. Okay. And if there's no interest on that, we'll move to something else. This is a Torrid. It is a size four. And with Torrid, I believe that's a 4X. It is a cute little um, long tunic type baby doll dress, uh, which you wear tights under. Or you can wear it as a dress, I guess, but I would call it more of a tunic. It is beautiful. It's got this really pretty blue flowers on it. And there's the back. It's really long. And we're going to start this one off at five. It is a size four Torrid. That looks like something Mel. Yeah, Mel. Mel's in at five. I All put right. my bid in. That's perfect <laughs> for you. Everywhere. It is so cute. I never thought about you. I well, that's okay, because see, I got red. That's like a bluish black. <laughs> I think it'll be darling on you. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, <laughs> so we're going to sell that one to Mel for $5. Yeah. My husband's always like, you kind of wear more dresses. <laughs> well, this one you would wear, you could wear. Oh, yeah, that's you know, perfect. It's long. Yeah, I've got okay. like leggings underneath and yeah, that's absolutely perfect. All right. Perfect. I'm so glad. All right. So that's going to go in your pile and you're going to get an entry into the drawing. And then my third item tonight is a loft top. It's a medium. Made by Loft. It's a brown, light brown. It has a silk edging on the bottom and a silk edging on the top. Very stretchy. Kind of thin weight. And we're going to start this one off at three. This is how stretchy it is. And it's a beautiful Loft top. It's got like three layers of this silky. Made to look kind of like, you know, shabby chic. See, I told you I have all sizes. You never know when something's going to come up in that bin. <laughs> Any interest? I am very allergic. Oh, to cats, I am too. Okay, read my first package from you. Lots of cute things, but that necklace with the green stones is so beautiful. I don't know. The necklace that you bought? This is one I bought from somebody. I think it's gorgeous. Love it. 
All right, so we're going to pass on the loft top and go into mail. I may have to turn the fan on. It's getting hot in here. You're muted. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was going to say um, there was a request for uh, kids things to do. This does not have an age other than for over uh, three years of age, simply because of the small pieces. But it's kid made modern crazy craft crazy crafts case. There's over a thousand pieces in here and instructions on how to do all types of crafts. So this is definitely unisex. It could be for either a uh, boy's wolf. Am I still muted? No, I but still... there must be a lag, Mel. Okay, there is. It looks like there's a lag. Okay. No, because all of a sudden I saw you're muted. You're muted. Christy wants that DVD set. Okay, Christy, I'll put you in for the DVD set. Um, That's for the self-help. We got it for $5. No, was it five? I forgot the price of it already. All right, I got to look up. I think it was $4, I said. Whatever I said. I'll get you the DVD. I'll look up to see what the price was. Um, for the Crazy Craft set, I have to start this off at $6. But it's an entire suitcase. Oh, they're too old for this, too? <laughs> okay. I just figured they could do all kinds of crafts. Um, but uh, it, it has all the pieces and instructions. So if anybody else is interested, it's a Crazy um, Kids Craft case from Kid Meat Modern. $6. Oh, Angie's in for $6. I think he was all the pipe cleaners and stuff like that. <laughs> Any other bids? So the craft items, and it's a complete suitcase. Uh, the suitcase is made out of um, paper, but once they open it up, it's too young for knitting, but too old for that. That's fine. I, I can grab other things. I'm just trying to get different ideas. Um. I've got like something everywhere. <laughs> Any other interest? If not, we will call this to Angie. So, Angie, Angie, you're getting the thread case. Thank you, thank you. I and love it. I have friends. grandkids that it'll be perfect for. Okay. Um, uh, this might be for the girl. The only thing is the box is destroyed. But I'll show you what it is. And I'm going to start this off at $4. This is a do-it-yourself watch kit. It's create now, as you can see, there's box damage, there's box damage. Basically, they ripped into the box. However, all the pieces are here. It comes with create your own original small decorative three-in-one watch. There's 110 pieces doing this for $4. And as you can see, you can make, it has the different watch settings. It has the strings. It has the beads. And it has everything you need to make a watch. No. Yeah. Julie, I actually had some of the stuff already here. <laughs> I prepare a certain amount of items already on the side, and these items were already. Oh, thank you. It was five. Thank you, Christy. Thank you for looking that up because I forgot already what I priced it at because my head is like off the wall right now. <laughs> Julie is in for $4 for the uh, watch set. Any other bids? See that that that's what I get for getting like um a pain shot, which I'm sorry, that's too much information. But yes, I went to the doctor and <laughs> who knows, I'm probably gonna have to go for back surgery at some point. Um watch kit is going to Julie. For four dollars. Okay. Christy's getting that. Julie Schwartz is getting that. Congratulations. So, congratulations. Julie. That's you. That was my second item, right? Okay. Yeah. My, thir my third item is I'm gonna do a piece of jewelry. And I'm gonna start this off at um let me start this off at five dollars because it's actually really cute. It's from the connections from Hallmark. Comes in the box. And it actually is this beautiful uh, snowflake. I know it's out of season, but 
It has all the jewels. It's stainless steel fine jewelry, 18 inches to 20 inch adjustable um, regular price, $18. But it says it's a stainless steel snowflake pendant with chain made in China. Any interest in the gift box makes a early Christmas present. Cute for the family. It's a snowflake. What is the age requirement at Salvation Army? You mean to work there or or to volunteer? I, I, I'm not too sure. I mean, I would assume 18 because a lot of companies do not want to hire anybody young. But... Yeah, they made it where 18-year-olds can't work. Although uh, Burger King put up a new sign that they will take 14-year-olds at Burger King. <laughs> Any interest in the snowflake? Or this could be like a tease, being that we live in a snowflake generation. <laughs> Did I say that? The snowflake. Hello, Pages Films and Plastics. Welcome to the show. Oh, for the discount on Senior Day. Hmm, I don't know. Is it 65 or 68? No, it's uh, 55, I think. 55. 55 or 60. I know Mel wants to make people happy, so I don't want her to go out of the way. No, because Julie, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have to be getting stuff. Anyway, because I bring out a certain amount of stuff, but then I got to clear this area and bring out more stuff. And <laughs> she just wants to get rid of stuff. So if you if you have something that you're interested in, you make sure you let her know because she is anxious to get it out of her sight. And I have I do have a lot of religious stuff. In fact, I need to do another religious pop up at one point because everybody loves religious stuff. All right, I think that's a no on this. Was that my third item? I think that was my third item. I can't count tonight. Um, nope, that's going to you. All right, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Go ahead. I'll go get some uh, DVDs. All right. Okay, so this is a T-shirt. It is a extra large junior, so it's 15 to 17 is the size. It is baby blue. It is new. It says sassy since birth. I put that on there with sublimation and um, let's start this one off at $3. Very stretchy, new t-shirt, never wore. Julie's in at three. Does anybody want to come in at four? Julie's at three, and we are licking for four. All right, we'll sell it to you, Julie, for three dollars. Thank you, Julie. And then next up, this is new with tag. It's by Joseph A. Um, it is an extra large. It's got the price of forty-eight dollars on it. And it's a little, here it is up close where you can see it has like a little bit of a glitter thread in it. And it has this little neckline that folds down like a turtleneck. And it is sleeveless. It is brand new. And there is a stretch in it. There's plenty of room for big boobs. There's the back of it. And we're going to start this one off at $5. It is a pretty one. Fancy dancy. But see, I'm the kind of person that would wear this with jeans. I just love it. I think it's beautiful.
not sure what you are saying. You want me to zip it? Zip what? Any interest? This is a $48 top. And if I don't see any interest, I'll go to number three. Number three is a Nike workout top. It does have the bra inside, made inside. I'm trying to find the size on this. It's a beautiful mint green and white. It is new. Um, it is it's polyester and spandex. And it's an extra, extra large. So here we go with the front. Here's the back. We're going to start this one at $5. And then it has this little built-in bra inside with the elastic and it's got the little nike logo up here some breathing things here on the sides Yeah, he, he just wanted to clear that up, Julie. Any interest? This is extra, extra large. Nike. Looking for a $5 start. Hey, Penny. Welcome. Hello, Penny Bay. And if there's no interest in the little Nike top, then we'll go back to you, sweetie. Oh, we got Sharon at five. Anybody want to come in at six? See, we are really lagging, Mel. We've got to really slow down. Okay, that's fine. We could talk it up, grab the thing. <laughs> I'm making earrings while we do this. My problem is I can't stop dropping stuff. All right, it's sold. Sold to Sharon for $5. Thank you so much, Sharon. Now we're going back to you. Okay, so I have a couple of items I'm gonna show. The first one, I'm going to start this off at $8. And this is actually CDs, not DVDs. It's uh, more of the lines of um, audio um, CDs. But it's uh, they're called Joy of Loving. I choose Joy. Joy of Forgiving. It's in Joy of Accepting. It's by James McDonald. He is a pastor. And it's from Walk in the World with James McDonald. Igniting passion to the people of God through the proclamation of truth. So it's all three CDs and their audio books. You can put them in the car, listen to them. Um, and it's three styles of different joys that you choose. And it says, everyone wants to be happy, but why settle for the fleeting emotion when you can experience something more authentic? And this type of joy is found in selflessness, service, the secret to get outside of yourself. And he is a Bible teaching ministry of James McDonald. He teaches, emphasize the precise uh, God's word and practical life applications. If anybody's interested, it's a three-pack um, uh, CD special, audio CDs. And it's from James McDonald, the work, Walk in the World. And they're all compact discs. Dean, I love when you talk. It's just been... Actually, Julie, I'm wondering what's wrong because I think there is something wrong today. It's like it's just one of those off Thursdays. I'm hoping it's going to get better. I think it is going to get better. 
I'm I'm keeping a smile. I'm keeping joy, joy loving and accepting forgiveness. <laughs> but I'm doing um all three uh eight dollars. If there's any interest in the um audio CDs. And if there's no interest, I know there's a lag. I'm wondering why there's a lag. Is there's something going on that we don't know, like some <laughs> presidential speech or something? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what's going on today. What president? <laughs> I, I didn't say anything. I was just like, what's going on in the right world now. of YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing, I did um, show this the other day, but I have multiples. So this I'm going to start off at $10. And it's a collection of dinosaur worry stones. They're rocks, but I'll show you exactly what it is. So it's a little, I don't know what type of dinosaur that is. I'm doing this um, five for 10. So you'll get like a little, um, and they're each flat stones. They're like uh, river rocks. I know that one's a pterodactyl. And then you'll get a woolly mammoth. And then a stegosaurus. So each one of them has a dinosaur. They do have their tags on the back. That's how much they are each. However, you can um, remove that off easily. They're all real rocks and real stones. I don't know the type of stones. I'm assuming um, they're like river stones, but each one probably has their own little name on them. And you get all different types of dinosaurs and the woolly mammoth with it. Pterodactyl. The, um, whatever these things are. If it Even makes you feel any better, Julie, we all have those days, honey, but we still, you're still beautiful. Yeah. Even Lisa's seen it's a crappy day over there. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, it's the weather. This is our first day of sunshine today, but it's going to rain all weekend again. It's been raining for like a week straight. Everything's flooded. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah it's been bad so today we had a little bit of sunshine but then that's what's going to happen tomorrow the rain is coming back and then you'll get the humidity yes, julie these are the exact same one um i gotta put them all in the box together so you're gonna get that out but yes these are the same ones you bought from me yeah i knew there was a uh a being war against them. So I'm like, you know something? I'll just start them off at 10. <laughs> it was a full moon last night. That could be a full moon, definitely. I don't know, but I'm having a great day. <laughs> Good day. Yes. Good day. Terry wanted them. Oh, Terry was the one that wanted them. Terry C. All right, I'll keep them in mind for Terry the next time I see her. Okay. Next item I have is, and this I'm gonna start off at, um, I'll start this off at $8. This is Murder on the Hindenburg, a mystery, a mystery jigsaw puzzle. So it's actually um, a thousand piece puzzle and it goes through the storyline of like a whodunit, where and why. Because it comes with a book, you read the book, you assemble the puzzle, and you have to solve the murder as you're doing the puzzle. Now, obviously, yes, this is for adults. It's from the 1999 Be Puzzled. And um, it's classic mysteries with a challenging twist. You read about a turbulent story of a man's hope of new life, but, but a deadly encounter in the sky. Then you assemble the thousand piece puzzle to discover the hidden clues, and then you solve the murder based on the puzzle. But beware, the puzzle is different from what's on the cover. From my understanding, this is a complete set. It was sealed when I got it. I mean, I opened it up just to take a look, but there, everything's in here, the books. Um, in fact, there. It's completely sealed. So it's never even been opened. And the book is right here. So, sealed bag. So, yes, I am sure all the pieces here. The box itself, like I said, has been opened. 
but the bag of, of the pieces is sealed. I know when it comes to puzzles, I never get if the bag is open. <laughs> the box could be open because I know people always check it. But if the inside bag is open or anything like that, I don't purchase puzzles. I only purchase them if they're new. I could get the puzzles back in. That would be nice. <laughs> Julie says she loves a good murder mystery. <laughs> I love a good puzzle and you get to the end and it's missing pieces. Oh, yeah. That, that's happened to me so many times. But this one, the, the inner bag puzzle is completely sealed. So It makes me want to hurt somebody. Annie, the book, oh wait, the book, yeah, the book was, the book should be in there, I just pulled the book out, right, or was that the instructions, the book, yeah, that's the book, <laughs> Murder on the Hindenburg, so, so the book is in here, and it's a complete story, with it and it's about uh, how long is the book the book is 16 pages 16 pages long so it's a 16 page story <laughs> is it a true story well it's it's a it's a story about the hindenburg the the hindenburg was the big uh zeppelin that uh exploded yeah i saw the movie yeah but i think this is a murder mystery um uh, i don't think this is a true story i think it's just based on a true story Oh, like, you know okay. what I mean? This is its own murder mystery with okay. taking place on the Hindenburg. But we are sold to Julie. Was that who we sold to? Yes, Julie. You're getting this for $8. Congratulations. Was that my third item? That was my third item. You are next. Go, Julie, go. Julie, Thank you Julie. so much, Julie. Julie, Julie. Julie is getting the Hindenburg mystery. All right, this is a spaghetti strap, very stretchy. I put Batman on. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's cute. It's got a sparkle in it too. And um, this is a large 12 to 14. Oh, that's cute. Uh, stretchy. And we'll start this one off at three. I um I woke up this morning and turned on my YouTube. I wanted to play that song that Adam Sandler sang in that movie where it was a wedding planner and he sang Grow Old With You on the airplane to Julia. And um, I just wanted to hear that song and I played it on YouTube and it just in my head all day today you know the song he's saying i just want to grow old with you which song <laughs> on the wedding planner you know when he got on the plane and i've and, never seen that movie <laughs> oh you didn't oh my god i've seen every adam sandler i love him he's my oh the wedding singer oh okay oh the wedding singer yeah okay because yeah i'm thinking of a different movie Roy oh, idol is there on the plane, Billy Idol. Yes, that's so Adam cute. Adam sings, I just want to grow old with you to Julia. Yeah. Okay, so we'll pass on the Batman. And then my next item is new with tags. It is made by Stella Luce. It is a large. I bought this to go with a skirt. And it did not match the way I wanted it to match. It feels like a suede and um it's so like it still has the tags on it and we'll start it at three it's really cute with skirt shorts whatever it's stretchy it's lined too so it's got like this little silky part underneath of it 
Starting bid is three dollars. You already did Batman tonight. <laughs> so we are um, lagging like shit tonight. Anybody interested? Really sweet. We're lagging, we're lagging, we're lagging, lagging, lagging. This is a 2224 made by, ben I can never say that, Venezia, Venezia. And it is black silky feeling. It's made to look kind of like a uh, safari, safari top. It is absolutely adorable. I mean, adorable. It's got big buttons all the way down the front. We're starting this one off at four. There's the back of it. Just like new condition. I just absolutely love this. This is a 22-24 cotton and poly. I'm looking for a four dollar bid. So pretty, so so pretty. Would be so cute with a pair of dress pants or even a skirt. It's just darling. You could wear just about any kind of jewelry you wanted with it. Yeah, that's about a 3X. Mm-hmm. Because a 2022 is a 2X. 1820 is a 1X. 2022 is a 2X. 3X is 2224. Yeah, it's like a 3X. All right, and I do not see any interest. I know we're lagging. So if anybody comes up on it and sees it with the lag, just let me know. We're going to mail. Okay, this, um, I'm going to start this off at $12, but I'll explain it. It's a brand new, it's called Second Beast Rising. It's from the 11th Hour Dispatch. It's an eighth this set. There's actually three volumes. This one is volume two, and basically, this is the end of the world type of series. It talks about um, how Revelation 13 describes a confederacy of evil that seizes upon unimaginable glowing global crisis to the final controversy of Earth's history. Very, very dark religious stuff. It is from uh, Scott Ritzema. The entire collection costs that amount, and that, that is the current price on eBay but I'm gonna do this one for $12. It's brand new, it's sealed. It's volume two of the series, which you'll still get. It's disc nine through 16. You'll still get all that information, the gender agenda, the assault on family, cultural collapse, uh, not to trust your princess, constitutional freedoms. So it's, it's your darker end of religious Armageddon. But you have to have the volume one and volume three, right? You, you don't three. have to. Each each disc, like this this right here is eight disc. So it's a very massive collection. In each chapter, it's its own little chapter of the DVD. You know what I mean? It's not like a story and you need the first one to be in, in with it. Okay. I mean, it is a story. It's a continuation story. But it's like each each disc is a completely different topic. And when you put them all together... I only have volume two. I don't have volume one or volume three. But like, you can give see. me an example of a topic. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The crackdown, uh, put not your trust in princess, constitutional freedoms, the gender agenda, the assault on the family, cultural collapse. So that's this one, disc nine through 16. Mm -hmm. 
So you'll get eight discs in this particular one. Welcome back, Dean. Any interest in this one? And if there's no interest, uh, more stuff. More stuff. She's got the stuff, baby. Got She's got the stuff, stuff baby. <laughs> I do got stuff. All right. I'm showing this little guy. Uh, people may get offended, but I have to start this off at $10. I'm sorry, it's slightly offensive, offensive, but it's cute. Oh, I love it. It's adorable. And it's from New Orleans. It's, it's a so little sweet. boy eating watermelon. That's exactly what I'm going to call it. Little boy eating watermelon. So if you're interested in a happy little baby eating watermelon, so happy. From New Orleans. Um, it is ceramic. It doesn't have any maker's mark or anything like that, but it is very delicate. There's no uh, chips or cracks or anything like that. But for the value of these things and also the <clears throat> controversy around items like these, starting bid $10. Yeah, I have to be nice. See, you, you got the word, Maxine. Black Americana. <laughs> I just think it's a little happy little boy eating watermelon. I think, a, I think it's adorable. It is. I, I think this is, yeah. It's getting to the point where things are so super sensitive. Yeah, but if it was a white person eating a cracker, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> well, see, now they're trying to boycott uh, Robert Downey Jr. for his uh, role in Tropic Thunder. Oh, fuck him. When that's the very thing that he was protesting. Like, that's that's the whole idea about his character. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think that's funny. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, and I'll do this. Um, this is actually really pretty. I'll, I'll do this at $4. It's a hand-stitched home is where the heart is. It's a little trinket box, but it is from uh, Fetco. Needlework by Fetco, hand stitched in China. Any interest in the Fetco hand stitched picker box? Hello, so you could put your uh, pins and needles in here. You could put jewelry in here, maybe coins or something like that. But it is, um, this is nice and uh, soft, so you could put your pins here. And there's a soft, it's soft in here as well. But other than that, it's like a cardboard uh, type box. And it has the, um, well, this like satiny, satiny type finish. But it does see needlework by Fetco hand stitched in China. Any interest in the home is where the heart is. And that cute little uh, stitchery cross stitch pattern. And that was all hand stitched. They did a really good job on that. You can't do that. If there's no interest, I think we'll pass it to you, Angie. Is that three already? That was three. Yeah. Okay. This is purple. It's an extra large junior. It is made by Mud M U D D. It has a lot of um, cute trim. It's a little baby doll top. There's the back. Great for summer. Uh, I wore this several times, so I'll start this one off at three. And it's a pretty purple. Purple. Purple nurple. How long is it? Um, Sharon, this one is, it's not made to be too long. It's a little short one. So you'll probably want to wear like a tank underneath of it. I mean, it's going to cover up 
it's going to cover up everything. It's just not long, long. Pass. Okay. All right. Well, let's pass on that and let's move to the next item. This is a L, E L L E makes this. It's a large. It's got like a little cap sleeve. It's pink with little black polka dots. It has a little gather up here at the, a little gather. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a dressier top. And it is a large and I never wore it, not one time, but it is darling and it's very stretchy. And we're gonna start this one at four. Any interest? If not, I have a large made by Lynn Ryan. It is a V-neck with a cute little gather down the front. It's long. Look at the beautiful flowers. Kind of a gold color with uh, pink kind of a maroonish pink and that one's going to start at four it is also brand new never wore i bought a polka dot in same color from you huh you darn Gotcha. This, one, this one is, I love the way it's made. I love those gathers. All right, Sharon. I'll put you another entry into the drawing. Anybody want to come in at five? All right, Bexie's gonna call it down to you, Sharon. Thank you. And next round, we're gonna do a drawing, not a drawing, but a, ga a game. Sounds good. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna show, and this is actually really pretty, uh, it is the Family Tree. It's a Hallmark keepsake. I'm gonna start this off at $5. It says, Friends We Keep Forever. It's a photo holder and it's, um. Die cast metal and uh am I pronouncing that right? Closoin. <laughs> but it says family, the friends we keep forever, the family tree. We're remembering those who mean the most to you is important. The family tree from Hallmark can capture your um, memories. For decorative use only, not for children under eight. And um did I say ten? I was actually doing five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being nice. It's it's starting with five dollars. Probably should start at ten, but no, I did say five. And it's a beautiful uh, cloison ornament. It's a picture frame. Friends, we keep forever, and it's brand new, never been used. Any interest in um it's a green it's a green um frame with like a little holly. Pretty and it has like that and then the back of it is a little hanging thing. So you place your little three three by three inch photo in the holder and it makes a nice cute little gift. Put it as a Christmas tree ornament, put it as a little uh wall hanging. Something small, cute, and tiny. Small, cute, and tiny. Yeah, it's from the 2004 collection from Hallmark. 
any interest in the tree the family tree friends we keep forever it's a family tradition oh this next item Ugh. i'm starting this off at i'm silly for now yeah, we'll start this off at ten dollars it is a beautiful jewelry box it is from 1992 silver plated gold dinger silver it is right there 19 19- Gold oh. Dinger. Yep. Well, God Dinger. No elf. God Dinger Silver 1992. This is extremely heavy. You open it up. It has a cute little mirror, cute little jewelry. It is uh, metal hinged straight throughout. It is a very, very nice box. Get a little silver cloth to shine this baby up. But it's silver plated. And it's Heavy. Heavy is the word. Yep. God Dinger Silver 1992. Silver plated box. Any interest in this jewelry box? And it has the mirror. It has the soft, uh, what do you call this? Like a velvety soft uh, cushiony where you can put your rings you can put your necklaces up oh, we have both sharon and christy but sharon came in first yeah sharon's Just, in first yeah sharon you did come in first um christy you want to bump it up looking for 11 christy and it can be if you want it can be uh what do you call it, monogrammed or something there's no monogram on it for the time being but yeah, you get a nice silver cloth. You can shine this baby up. It'll look gorgeous. Christy's in at 11. Mm-hmm. What you think, Sharon? Christy, what's your middle name? My daughter's name is Christy, but I spell it I-E. I cannot believe it's 6.30 p.m. And just now the garbage men are coming. That never happens. They're always <laughs> here at like 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it like the garbage man. I'm taking my garbage away. Okay. Well, well they're, they're on a lag. <laughs> that's a good thing, but <laughs> out to Christy. Christy's in for 11. Congratulations. Lagging now. I'm lagging? No, the garbage man. Oh, the garbage man. Well, there were lagging as well. Okay, <laughs> so Christy, you are getting the, uh, what is this? This is a jewelry box. Yes, it's a jewelry box. It's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. I'm like, I don't even know what I have in my hand for $11. We'll help you, don't worry. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing it down carefully because when I get in moods like this, I write things down and I stare at it and I'm like, what <laughs> did I just write down? Oh, I love that. I do staring too. <laughs> oh, man. I did this um, I did this a couple of weeks ago. I sold a bear. It was a Sagittarius bear. For whatever reason, I wrote Sagi, S-A-G-I. And I'm like, what is a Sagi? It, is was, like- <laughs> it was a Sagittarius bear. So in my mind, I wrote Sagi. And I'm like, I have no idea what Sagi is. How about emery boards? I got one, two, three, four, five, six emery boards. How about we start this off at $3? They're double-sided. They have the rough side for your nails, the black side. But then they have the smooth buffing side. They're all brand new. The company is from Defy and Inspire. So it's okay, eight- Christy Ann. I'm gonna call you Christy Ann. My Christy is Christy Nicole. I've got 180 fine and 100 medium grit two-sided nail files for your nails, and you're gonna get all six of these for three dollars. It's a six pack. Any interest this way you'll always have a I do my own nails. Mm-hmm. And if it's not good for nails, these are also good for like uh, fixing edges or if you have anything loose, like a piece of wood sticking out or something like that. One, two, three. Yeah. Angie is in for three. Julie, you want to come in for four? You can also use it to, 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 to like scrape the scum off your teeth. What? <laughs> No, you're not serious on that, are you? No. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just trying to think of something else you could use it for. I'm like, I'm like please don't tell me. I could just I could just imagine you say that someone's like, oh, I gotta try that. And then next thing you know, they're in the, the dentist for all the holes in their teeth or something. That's all like Angie, please don't tell me that's a yes. Okay, wait, Christy's in what what is this three and a half? There's no three point five. No, we don't use no halves here. <laughs> We'll get everybody with the penny. Three, Christy Ann. <laughs> Christy Ann, you're in trouble now. Julie is out. Well, wait a minute. Are we accepting that bid or? <laughs> Julie is out. Well, no, Julie she said I'm kidding. No, no, Julie. Right now, you're you're in for three. You in for three? I'm in three. for three. Oh wait. Oh, okay. So Julie's out. You're in for three. Okay. So Angie's in for three. Anybody in for four? Or is it going to Angie? I, I'm confused already. <laughs> if anybody wants this, you got to come in with four dollar bid. I only have one set. I'm sorry. Some sets I have multiple sets. This I only have one set. Last call. Hey, Lisa hello, Jenkins. Lisa Jenkins. Welcome to the show. It's the Jenkins, Lisa. Mm hmm Lisa's in my house. She's in the house. I I think this is going to Angie. Woo! Always good for Emery boards. Angie. Yeah, I'll keep them in every room. You can never have too many Emery boards. And that's going to be for, uh, what did I say? Uh, $3. <laughs> that dress back there is oh, cute. This is, a rare, this is a rare ming. Okay, this happens to be my last set. So I have... Fashionista Catwalk. These are brunette shampoos for warm tones. It um it will accelerate your color if you're a brunette. You it has like the little dye tincture in the shampoo. So as you sh as you shampoo your hair, I'm doing two for five on these, so five dollars for both of them. Um, as you shampoo your hair and get the lather, it'll give like a nice little brunette tinge to it. Well, that's, Any, that's super duper. Yeah, this this is an incredible. I mean, that that's cheaper than just what one of them. This is my last set. I have no more fashionistas. I still have the oatmeal and I still have the charge up for men, but no more fashionistas. Any interest? You'll get two bottles. Catwalk, P I G I, fashionista, brunette shampoo, or warm. I know the last time I brought these out, everybody went crazy over them. <laughs> I have a cabinet under my bathroom sink full of shampoos and conditioners that I have bought over the years at beauty salon. Mm -hmm. And if that's I don't the use them, I'm going to feel really bad. That's the way to do it. I know I'm still at those, those that, that big uh, health and beauty thing, that's going to take me at least a week to go through. <laughs> at least. I'm a bl I am do have your, yes, Julie, I have your baby blonde that you bought at my pop-up. Yes. You get three bottles of that, so. <sighs> okay, I think there's no interest in my shampoo. Was that my second item or third item? Second. That, that was only my second? Okay, I got to show another item then. Uh-huh. Okay, next item I have is I have a set of tea time little dishes, but they're also wall hangers and they're really cute. And I'm going to start this off at, um, let me start this off at $6. So the company is uh, Tea Time Mini Plates, set of four by Christina. Oh God, I can't read it. Christina Adolph. Yeah. Christine Adolf, and I don't know what that says, Manly, Manly, Manuelli, but it's from 1932, Manuelli. Basically, you're getting four different, and they have the little things, so you could either use it as a coaster for your little teacup, or you could use it as a wool hanging. You'll get tea party, and you're getting a total of four. You'll get the little teapot. You'll get, I'm sorry, Julie, I was, I was in... I was at the doctor for like four hours. 
So I didn't get to do my pop up today, but thank you for keeping an eye on it. And, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I did. Um, I did. Really, a do you need a job? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did estate sales in the morning, and then I had a doctor's appointment, and it took forever for them to tell me semi bad news. <laughs> Yeah, and you're going straight to bed after this because I'm going to spank your butt if you don't. Oh, I'm fine. No, I've been having um, arm and nerve problems lately, and that's that's when I get a little loopy. So they finally did a um, a scan, and it's not my shoulder, which we thought it was. It's actually my neck, and it turns out my C, C4, C5, C6, C6, and C7 are completely fused together, and I've got bone spurs sticking out. So that's what's causing the nerve pain down my arm. It's not that I injured my shoulder. It's literally my neck is crushing my nerves. So that's when I'm like, oh, beauty, beautiful. But yeah, I'm fine. No, you're not. <laughs> well, they gave me they gave me a shot, and I'm like looping. So I'm like really looping. So if you see me, I'm like, woo. <laughs> She's in pain all the time, guys. She lives in pain. She shouldn't I, even I, be getting out of bed until this is I, taken care of. I literally, yes, Angie knows well. I literally live in pain, but I do the whole laughing thing and she happy laughs thing. it off. I laugh it off. And then there's some times where it gets so bad that I literally can't work. It's always, yeah, Julie says it's always the neck. So that's, that's what ended up happening. So my whole neck is. And I knew it was a problem because even with my chiropractor, when he did x-rays, he says my neck is facing the opposite direction. So now that they did a more extensive, it's like, ah. So when he said that, I'm like, okay, so what does that mean? He's like, well, we may have to do surgery. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want surgery. <laughs> um, That was my third, though. Your turn, Angie. Okay. <laughs> but I'll be fine. All right, this is Lacey White. Um, it has a slip type underneath. Uh, let's see, here's the back. It's very stretchy. It has pink up here and then white lace down here. I wore this like under jackets and things. And this is made by 21 and it is a large. We're gonna start it off at $3. Yeah, I, I couldn't live that way. I had to have the back surgery. And I'm glad I did. Because I was like a new person afterwards. Yeah, that was one thing, Julie. I, they said I only have 25% movement in my neck. Like it, it could only move 25%. And I never realized it. I'm like, I, I just assumed I had regular rotation of my neck. And he's like, no, you're at 25% capacity of what your neck could move. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And then I have another uh, lacy one. This you one. Have, um, you have Sharon in for three for the, uh, the, okay. the, the first one. All right. And then this one is lacy gray. It also has uh, the slip type under it. And it's a medium. And it's very stretchy. It has the little velvet bows up here. And this one's going to be three. All right, Sharon, I'll put you down for that one and put you another entry into the drawing. So that one's sold, but this one is a medium. It's a gray. It's beautiful. Let me show you an up close. Very stretchy. Thank you, Sharon. Any interest? Any interest?
All right. Yes, Christy, thank you. That's what she needs is some good hard praying because she is in a lot of pain and it is not fun. I know I've been there. I You're afraid to move it. sometimes because you don't know if that move is going to, you know, make you just freeze up or what. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the prayers. All right. So we're going to pass on this and let's go ahead and put a number in when vexing says start. And I'm going to need a number between one and 50. Start. You can go now. Who was that lady that slept on her arm and the arm is dead? I don't know. Was it somebody on YouTube or is it somebody famous? Well, oh, that's weird. Kind of sad, too. So when vexing says stop, then we'll we'll call a number. You guys know how it goes. Dean, are you still in here? Are you in here? All in, all done. Hey, Siri. Need a number between 1 and 50. A random number between 1 and 50 is 24. It looks like Christy is our winner. Right? Am I right? Congratulations, Christy. We've got a winner. Okay, Christy, here is your prize. Five dollars off anything in my auction, and that does not include shipping. Use it whenever you want. I'll keep it for you. Oh, Marion, sorry you came in late. We already called it. Make sure you're up to speed. Oh. She wouldn't have won anyway. I hope she's not bidding on something. <laughs> it's just, I know it's this crazy internet. Oh, thank you, Julie. No, I, I will take care of myself. It's just what ends up happening is that's why every now and then I have my crazy days. Today is one of my crazy days. <laughs> well, you know how I am. I'm all laughing, giggling. It's party time when we do auctions. And then my third item is a t-shirt, another t-shirt that I made. I've got a string hanging. This is purple. It is an extra large and it says, hello, fall. Starting bid is $3. Very stretchy, extra large. It is so cute. It's sublimated, so it's not, you won't feel it. It's ink that is in the shirt. We have Penny at three. Does anybody want to come in at four? Penny's in at three. We're looking for four. Sharon, you're going to have to come in at four. Penny came in at three. Julie, you'll have to come in higher than three. Penny's in at three. So we're looking for four.
this is made on a sublimation printer with a heat press. Sharon's in at four. First of all, you got to have the printer, which is about four hundred dollars. Then you got to buy the ink. You got to buy the special paper. You got to buy the T-shirt, and then you got to buy the heat press and a few other things like heat tape and things like that. But after you've got about a thousand dollars in it, you can make a T-shirt. <laughs> That's about the truth. Okay, Sharon's in at four first. Julie, do you want to come in at five? We're looking for five. Julie is out. Sharon's at four. Penny, do you want to come in at five? Penny looking for five. Do you want to come in, Penny? Oh, yeah, they're cute on the back of that, too. Okay, so we're going to sell it to Sharon for $4. Thank you, thank you. Thank you all that bid. And now we're going back to mail, and you're muted. Okay, so the next thing I have is I'm going to start these off at $8. It is a pack of the Lawns Automatic Playing Cards Magic Cards from SS uh, Abrams. These are specialized cards, and they're from... Copyright 1913 by the D-Land. They're special magician cards. That what happens is if you know the code, you'll know what each card is. So that's how magicians do their trick. It's based on the design on the outside of the card. And each one is completely different. So as long as you know what the code is and you memorize the code, that's how they do their magic tricks. So it's all kinds of cards. This is a complete deck. So all the cards are here, but the set is from 1913, or at least it's copyright 1913. And I'm going to do these at $8. The Lawns Automatic Playing Cards Magic Cards. It does have a little spot right here on the, uh, the box. But other than that, it's a complete set. It doesn't come with the codes, unfortunately, and I don't know if that's, but when you look at the card, that's how you memorize the codes because like each one will be, have a different code on it. And I mean, it's like something silly to see, like you could even see like this one right here versus this one that has the little uh, white circle that has a black circle. So when you know what the code is on the card, that's how you know which it is, but it doesn't come with the code sheet. Oh yeah, there's all different tricks. When, when they, Whenever they do card tricks, the cards are marked. They'll just not notice it because it's so tiny that only the magician could see what the, the change in the design is. So if anybody's interested in magic and just wanna fool your friends, these are magician's cards from 1913. So they're, oh. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to show, oh, all right, and I'll start this, I guess eight is a nice number tonight. I'll start this off at $8. This is actually a binder, and it's completely filled with painting books, and the books are in impeccable condition. So this one, and each of these books could be taken out and sold individually, or they could be used, but it's like painting is our bag. This is all a book on how to the painting designs for painting on your bag. Uh, this is t-shirt painting. This one is sweatshirt painting. So each each one of these, this one is Tickle Your Fancy by Lori Stroppel. So each of these is like uh, things that you can do with uh, painting on different things. Ways to make your wreaths. Uh, tumbleweeds keep on rolling. It's all... Uh, like tumbleweed kid, um, kids personalized with paint. And then it starts turning into like holiday painting, hand painted gifts, decorating with paint. 
This one is Jackie Brushstroke's, uh, like, Brushstroke's yearbook. Wonderful wearable art. So it's a complete set. These are all books. Uh, Simply Soft. These are all uh, stitching patterns, spring florals, uh, painting patterns. So you'll get the entire binder of books, and everything is in great condition. I mean, you could see they're clean condition. It's a perfect binder that fits right on your shelf. And I'm going to do the whole book for $8. Okay. Any interest in painting books, craft books? Angie says, are you going to keep your printer? I love the cow dog. <laughs> See, already, Angie, they want to buy your printers. <laughs> okay, that was my first. That was my second. My third one I'm going to do, and I'm going to start this off at $5. I have a painted tray. Now, it's a, it's, um, a wood tray. It has a beautiful picture um, on it. Uh, you can paint it, you can put anything, but it's like a, um, oh, how do I say this? Just I mean, say it. I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Spit it's it like out, you, girl. Spit it out. If you took it, if you took a picture and then, um, uh, ah, I don't know, stuck it on here like a big sticker. Decoupage. Decoupage. Is that the word? Thank you. Decoupage. Yeah. That's the name of it. Or it could be like a transfer, a label. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. It's it's like it, you it's could paper, peel this right? up. Okay. Yeah. If if you don't like this, you could peel it, or you could just paint it. So if right. decoupage is the term for it, but it's a cute tray, and and I figured if anybody's artsy, the bottom of the tray is brown. There's no uh, maker's mark or anything. Beautiful, just the way it is. Yeah, but it's a it's a great tray, nice and big. It could be artsy. It could be crafty. We're doing five dollars. Mm -hmm. You could make a little table out of it if you have like one of those little TV oh. stands. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah, like yeah. a little table, or even a kids' table. So, like when they do the toys, the toys don't roll off the table. Well, you know those little TV stands that you eat at those little TV mm -hmm. and trays. You can use yeah, that as the legs and make that the top. Right. And then it'll fold up as well. Yeah. Any interest in the spray? I'm always showing, like, like I said, today is one of those odds and ends. Put some it on your stuff. coffee table and you can just sit anything you want in it. Mm -hmm. Or on your dining room table. Okay. Use it to decorate. And if there's no interest, we'll put that on the side. And that was my third. We'll go to you, Angie. Okay. Now, at 9 o'clock, we will be stopping and we will be doing the final drawing. For Every time you make a purchase, you get an entry into the drawing. This is a brand new top. It is a large. It's taupe. It's by the market. Uh, this is Brenda. Like I said, it's a large. It has this little sequence pocket. It's brown. It's really long, long sleeved, very stretchy. And we're going to start this one at 5. Look how stretchy. Woo! I love it. And here it is up close. Just a cute little pocket with sequins on it. So cute. Are on a bed. Yeah, use it on your bed for your coffee. Perfect. And Penny, answer to your question is no, I'm not getting rid of my printer. I still make towels and t-shirts and everything like that and i did a lot of trump t-shirts so uh anything you need if you guys want to order a special t-shirt with a special picture on it your dog your kids whatever let me know and i'll work something up with you i do dish towels i do mm, anything the material is rayon and spandex it's really soft it's a taupe color yeah put it on your dresser 
You could use it for many, many things. Trays are so useful. All right, and if there's no interest in number one, we will go to number two. This is another t-shirt I made. This is a two extra large. It says it's fall, y'all. And it is a gold color. Um, very stretchy, brand new, never wore. And there's the front. And we're going to start this one at $5. It is a 2XL. And this is all sublimated in here. And it's starting at $5. Yeah, keep junk corralled. I like that. Right now, we got to keep Mel awake. <laughs> I'm she not falling asleep. She knows that I know her so well. <laughs> I know. Actually, I am falling asleep. I know. We're, we're going to keep me awake. <sighs> Thank you, Julie. And if there's no interest in that one, we will go to number three. This is new. A medium made by Bit and Brittle, which is a high end. And these are sold at high end stores. This is a flannel shirt. It is a Western style shirt. And the colors on this are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this one's going to start at five. Brand new top, brand new shirt. I was going to bleach this one out, but I didn't. I know we have a lag, so I'll wait just a minute. Oh, God, I made a honey baked ham tonight. For dinner. Um, I do not see any interest, so we're going to you, Mel. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start this off at $5. It's my one clothing item for tonight. This is a Danny and Nicole dress. It's size 18W. It is a really pretty blue and white dress. It is sleeveless. It has a zipper on the back, so it zippers up. It has a really cute um, metal clasp in the front. Let me see. Better get it off the hanger. So it's a cute little adorable dress with the clasp. It has a regular um, like U neck with the V neck going across, and it zippers. We're doing this for five dollars, and it's an eighteen wide. It has a little flare at the bottom. And the material is actually like a really, really soft, um, almost like a puffy material. <laughs> uh, actually, I should tell you on the tab what it says. And of course, the tab doesn't say it on there, so it's probably on the inside. There it is. Okay, so the tag says it is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it does have a little stretchy stretch to it. And it's a pretty dress. Oh, we've got Angie in for five. Any other interest in the dress? If not, we'll start calling you top Angie. But it's a very, very pretty black and white dress. Oh, it's adorable. Mm hmm And gave I saw it, it hanging back there. I was like, oh, that's cute. I bet that's it's not my size. And that's <laughs> not my size, but if if I can make it work, I will. It's not my size either, but a friend thought nicely because she knows I'm trying to get dressed up. And I'm like, oh, it's a little too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> I sold the Angie on that. Thank I you. I wrote it down. And the next item I'm going to start is, we'll start this off at um, $8. The dress. Uh, it's a Beatles collection. 
The first thing you're going to get is you are going to get The Beatles. Uh, it's forward by Alan Freeman. It's a hardcover book. Um, it's in good condition. It even has a little uh, Beatles insert. The only thing is it does say, happy birthday, love mom and dad. That's the only downside to it. But other than the book itself, you will get these beautiful pictures all about the Beatles, the stories. In addition to this, I'm also going to throw in Beatles Abbey Road A-Track. That's the original A-Track Beatles from Capitol Records, Abbey Road, and it's in working good condition. So you get two items from the Beatles, Abbey Road and the Beatles for $8. Anybody's interested in Julie's in for eight. She knows her good stuff. Any other interests? Eight dollars, and that's Julie McIntyre. Gotta watch the names because knowing me, I'll get them confused. Where's all the Terry's tonight? <laughs> I don't know. We're missing all the Terry's, but we got the two Julie's in, which if that's the first time you're popping in, Julie, welcome to the show. If you popped in earlier, I have no idea. I forgot, but I know Julie Schwartz was in. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this, this is what I'm like, if this is the first, if you popped in earlier, I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, she did. I'm sorry. It's okay. I just... Julie Schwartz was very talkative tonight. So, and then my third item I have is I'm going to start this off at $5. Congratulations, Julie. I have George. This is a Thai beanie buddy, not a beanie baby. He is 18 inches. It is a big gorilla. Tag is still a slight bend tag, but still in good condition. It is Georgie at George of the Jungle. This is from 1989. So this is one of the original Beanie Butt Buddies. I don't know if you can see that. 1989. So when the Thai company decided not to do Beanie Babies and switched to Beanie Bubby Buddies, George was one of the first ones. So we're doing $5 for good old Monkey George. Okay, like, dun, 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 George of the Jungle. Good old Any interest butt. in good old Georgie? Georgie Porgy. Georgie. George, George, George of the jungle. He's in good condition. He's just hairy. He's a hairy monkey. There's Terry. We were just talking about you, Terry. Ah! <laughs> she heard no, us. No, because Julie just said hello and we're like, wait a minute, where's all the Terry's? <laughs> <laughs> Any That's interest? Funny. I think there's no interest in my monkey. Oh. Is that my third one? I think that was my third one. All righty. On to you. Okay, so this is a John Mark. It's a large. It's blue and white striped. Has like cuffed. Has a Peter Pan collar. I never wore it, not one time. Although I really had to have it. Uh, Wait just a second. Uh, what? Julie did file for the monkey. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, who's sent the monkey? Julie. Okay. Julie, the monkey belongs to you. Thank you. It's long with a long back, long front. And this is going to start at $3. It is a large. George, George, Georgia, the jungle. Sharon's in at three. Anybody want to come in at four? We got three. We're looking for four.
All right, let's call it down to Sharon for $3. And I'll put you another entry into the drawing, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then the second item I have is made by Gift, G-Y-F-T, and the Y is backwards. I don't know why they do that, but why? It's a large, it's stretchy, I never wore it, has a V-neck, here it is up close, has a little tie right there, and we're going to start this one at four. Very mm. stretchy. Watch, watch this, look at this. <laughs> It's really cute. Starting bid for buckaroos. Sharon's in at four. Does anybody want to come in at five? We got four. We're looking for five. Four looking for five. Sharon's at four. We're looking for five. Going once to Sharon. Calling it down to Sharon. And I'll get you another entry into the drawing, Sharon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That one's a cutie. Where else can you go buy brand new clothes? And name brand prices. Name brands. Okay, this is a Rue 21. It's a large. We're going to start this one off at $3. Look at this. This is so cute. It's got a little lace around the bottom. It's got it up here. It's got the the shabbiness, you know, the distressness, and it's stretchy. There's the back, and we're starting it at only three dollars. Any interest? Any interest? Penny, you would look cute in this. And if there's no interest, that's my three. We'll yeah. call this weird item of the day. We're going to start this off at $5. It is an empty perfume bottle of Nicki Minaj. So it's part of the Nicki Minaj uh, perfume collection. It's Menagistry from Nicki Minaj. So there's no perfume in here, but it's her whole uh, bust with the uh, bustier bra and her famous pink hair. Julie's in for five. And this is just the perfume bottle itself. It's empty. Any other interest in the perfume? Nicki Minaj, Menagerie. But I it's even, I don't even know who that wo woman is. The the one who sings um wet ass pussy. She <laughs> sings what? Uh, wet ass pussy, like whatever. Oh my god! <laughs> her no, her I, songs are awful. No, I do not <laughs> want it. <laughs> <laughs> you should just just like YouTube her for just one day and your mouth will be wide open. So to Julie, congratulations. No, I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> Julie Schwartz. I'd rather watch I'd rather watch freaking Yeah, her her music Adam is, Sandler. <laughs> I, I I do have to say her music is trash. I'm sorry. And if I offend anybody, it's 
She gets paid a lot of money to do. Yeah. Don't take it personally. We just. <laughs> um, we don't hold day, back. <laughs> I have a DVD break dancing step by step. It's the best selling on how to break dance DVD. I'm going to do this and it's a two disc set. I'm going to start this off at $5. I'm going to put bubble bath in it for my granddaughter. I have no idea who she is, but the pink hair color. Yeah, uh -oh. I thought it was cool looking. Your granddaughter, yeah, you, you said your granddaughter's uh, not seven and nine. She'll know who Mickey, Nicki Minaj is, which is actually bad because Nicki Minaj is a really bad singer. <laughs> you don't want to turn your daughter onto that. But she'll you? definitely know who it is. Or your granddaughter. <laughs> no, but it's cute. Oh, and like, yeah, it's a cute bottle. It really is. Oh, I like the looks of it. I thought it would yeah. be cute at, at my jewelry auctions. Was she with Rob Kardashian and had a baby? No. I don't think so. No, no. No, that was fat ass. I can't think of her name. No. I mean, she has a song uh, called... Um, you stupid bitch ho and the whole song is like you stupid bitch oh you stupid bitch ho. and it's all it is like the whole time <laughs> well, I such would a ho, laugh. You stupid... <laughs> what i would probably laugh yeah that was <laughs> black china <laughs> that was the that but that was the whole song it's like you're a stupid bitch <laughs> Like her eyes are like, <laughs> he'll watch his pink delicious. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's why I said Angie just for the laugh factor. I guarantee you, just watch a few of her songs, like your mouth will be open and you'll be laughing the whole time. I will, I'm gonna watch one tonight. He's that bad. Look, look up, um, uh, uh, WAP W A P WAP, wet ass pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play it for my husband. <laughs> I have. I'm sorry. That makes Matt, me sorry I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my God! That she is a ton of money. Really, that is great. Thank you for that laugh. I needed that. She, that that oh is, my God! I'm gonna cry. That is one of the best laughs I've had on this show. But if anybody has never heard of her, at least look up that song. W I What am I supposed to? <laughs> I've got. I'm sorry. Na NASCAR racing champions. This is number four. <laughs> We go from Ar that to NASCAR. Er Ernie, Ernie Irvin selling this for. <laughs> and he has a wide ass Julie, dick. If you are, if you want to rescind your bid, I will. I will cancel your bid. That's not a problem. You want to retract? Okay, not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I am not insulted by that. But I just think it looked cool. We're going to do uh, the NASCAR for $5. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be good now. Not not a problem, Julie. <laughs> I'll, I'll, bring that, I'll bring that out on my other show, and maybe I'll find somebody that I like that I don't know exactly. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm okay. I will take it. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll stop talking about it. That's fine. Okay, Julie, I, I put you back in. I thought you were retracting. Yeah, just stop talking about it. <laughs> Nicki Minaj bottle. Okay, five dollars. All right. Anybody? Anybody? Mexic said she'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Vexing, shame on you. <laughs> okay, no, so you're gonna have to bid. <laughs> no, it's already sold. Vexing knows how the, the shit yeah. goes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Don't. 
I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't think that that would bring. <laughs> but, but yes, for for your enjoyment, just look that up later on. <laughs> NASCAR races. <laughs> Nobody's interested in NASCAR. <laughs> Nobody I is think... interested in that damn shit NASCAR. <laughs> <laughs> was that my? That was my second. Okay, third item for five. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a fiesta <laughs> Oh my god. I, okay, wait, wait. I've got La, La, La Michoacana Meat Market. It's a oh, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> La Michoacana Meat Market from the Texas Rangers. It is your chip and guacamole bowl. And I'm going to do this for $5. If anybody's interested in a brand new fiesta platter from La Mico Cacana. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm bringing out interesting things today. It's an official Coca Cola product from the restaurant, and it features the Texas <laughs> Ranger logo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she said, I'm serious, Maxine. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Julie, you are hilarious. <laughs> Sharon's going to piss her face. Did you see Maxine's last, last comment? <laughs> I think maybe Mel has a. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It could be black. We don't know. <laughs> There's a uh, purple. Man. This is just the quickest side. But I'm not talking about Minaj. I'm talking about somebody else. But the Star Trek guy, um, Zulu, who has that very proper voice that he plays, he actually did a video where he read the lyrics in his proper voice to that song, and it's hilarious. Oh, my God. It is hilarious. So funny. <laughs> so funny. Way too funny for me. I can't handle it. I think it. nobody's interested in that either. <laughs> I think I did pee in my pants. <laughs> Angie, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get more stuff. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. This is, uh, you can tell it's my shirt, Lazy. It's um, made by About a Girl. It's a large. It's made kind of like a football type, you know, shirt with a hoodie. And we're going to start it at $3. It's black. It's long. It's stretchy. It's a large. $3 is the starting bid on that. <laughs> That was the funniest thing that's ever happened, I think, on this show. <laughs> Julie, you are a hoot. You're funny. I love you. I'm making earrings while I sell. Sharon's in at three. Dean is in the chat, y'all. <laughs> Vexing? No, she keeps track of who's here and who's not. I guarantee you. All right, we're going to sell this one to Sharon for $3. And she gets another entry. Thank you, Sharon. We are still having an auction, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Now, this is brand new. I just bought this for myself. It is made by Diaper Lace, da Paper Lace, Paper Lace, the paperlace.com. Um, it is like chambray, and then it's made to look shabby chic. And I put it on to wear it, and I just do not look good in this color. It just does nothing for me. But look how cute this is. It's supposed to look like a, it's long. It's supposed to look like a little rag. 
type type top and we're going to start this one off at six dollars this is from a high-end place and very expensive guys and cute i said diaper penny <laughs> it's not diaper it's paper <laughs> i know because i'm nuts where did that thing go i was doing you ever forget what you're doing yes i just forgot what i was doing oh that's what i was doing that's right diaper because now angie has that <laughs> All right, if there's no interest, we will move on. I have on the list for number three is a Paisley Vine name. It's a large. It is a long tunic. Uh, black at the top. This is another new one I bought and did not wear. It's got two different colors here. And this one's going to start at six also. It is gorgeous. It'll go with black uh, leggings or light colored leggings, gray. So this one is going to start at six, too. Yes. I thought I heard diaper, too. I did say diaper. <laughs> I don't know why. It just looked like diaper. And so I just read it. It's like, oh, I think I read that wrong. Get on there. You're fine. Is that black and what size, please? Black, large, new, never wore. Six dollars is the start. And this was a 40 something dollar, like $48 top. From the um, the site that I buy clothes from, Cowgirl site. Julie's at six. Does anybody want to come in at seven? Thank you, Julie, for your bid. Oh, hi, Carol. Julie, is that Julie Schwartz? It's Julie Schwartz, right? All right, so Julie is buying this one for six, and Carol is asking about the paper lace one. This one is a large, no, extra large. So if you're interested in this one, let me know and I'm going on to mail. I have another interesting item and I'm actually going to start this off at yeah, I'll start this off at $6. It says cahoots. It's actually a tarantula. So this is a little tarantula in a little um overall from the 1990 Tarantula Corporation. It's a basic mug made in China. It has a couple of skeins on the bottoms, but you can um, like bleach that out if you put bleach or. But I just thought it was funny because it's cahoots. And it's a tarantula. I was trying to figure out why he had four arms, but then I realized, oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> uh, 
I got I, bit I just by thought, a fire. I, I thought this is part of the uh, Americana collection again, but it's not. It's <laughs> it's 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 a tyrannical. But you can put that. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. I thought it was a railroad dude. I'm like, oh, I'm working on the railroad, but I'm like, oops. But that's the name of the tarantula company. <laughs> oh, I got my. bit by a fire ant yesterday, and it hurt all day long. Where on your tongue, like I? <laughs> no, on my arm, right on my wrist. I said, I, you know what? My hands were full, and I couldn't swat the son of a bitch, and so it just kept biting me until I put down what I had in my hands. <laughs> And it yes, hurt. That that that's the other funny story for anybody who wondered why did I suddenly not show up to the auction on Saturday? I got bit by an ant on my tongue. <laughs> yeah, a carpenter ant. Yeah, so I'm not having. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put little cahoots. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, how about my little ponies? I've got a bag of. My Little Ponies, and I'm going to start this. I bet that doesn't have a WOP. <laughs> what? It's WAP. Oh. <laughs> oh, my well, you God. Should, you should know, Vexing. <laughs> I do. I've seen the video. Oh, my God. A penny, it, it fell in my drink. And I wasn't paying attention, and I took a sip, and I almost swallowed it, but instead it bit my tongue, and I ended up getting swelling, and then my face started drooping from the allergic reaction. <laughs> so it was it was bad it's on a Saturday. Song that Nicki Minaj sings, Penny. Okay. And I didn't even I didn't even count. The, okay, first of, um, what did I say, six dollars for the um, My Little Ponies. So how about that? We're gonna do six dollars. My Little Ponies. Oh, God, Penny. <laughs> Penny, a wop is a wet-ass pussy. And this Nicki Minaj sings that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't think we're just talking like that. <laughs> it's not It's not a good, good talk for here. <laughs> it's not. I know. We, we should be beat. <laughs> Beep is like <laughs> somebody smack me. Billy's like, don't ask, don't ask. Little... <laughs> but if you ask, we will tell you. <laughs> well, that that's a rule of thumb that I have. It's <laughs> it's <laughs> if if you ask me a question, expect the answer. Yep, I'm sorry. Any interest in the little My Little Ponies? They're all cute little. Some have hair, some have plastic, vinyl. They're all different. Oh, I have 30 million of them from Marion. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? I didn't even get these from Marion. I bought these. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I need to Julie start. Julie says I own a perfume bottle of her. Yeah. Does Julie own the perfume bottle? Who owns it? Really? Yeah, Nicki Minaj stuff, like her original stuff, really goes. But this one's empty, this one without. What? At least you can say what you want. What else do you. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if her and Bexing are going to work something out on that. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in the um, My Little Ponies? Oh, I, I'm losing it. What we got? We got half an hour, right? <laughs> I can last half an hour. All yes. right. The next thing I'm going to do, I can last a half an hour. That's not a problem. I'm going to do this for $3. I've got <laughs> sexy fireman. Oh, Penny, you're so funny. This is sexy fireman wrapping paper. You're going to get two sheets. It's from the 2002 Little Genie production. It features beautiful, hot man with his fireman, the fire is looking at you. Like, look how sexy. <laughs> 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 
Next thing. <clears throat> we will talk <laughs> later. <laughs> no, do you see what she wrote? <laughs> Sexy, Sexy fireman, fireman wrapping, paper. wrapping paper with no. <laughs> She's on a roll tonight. Yes. So you'll get two. Um, <laughs> you'll get two of these. Um, each sheet is each pack has twenty. I'm sorry. It's two sheets, twenty by thirty inches. That's what I'm trying to say. So you get two sheets in each pack. So it's a total of four sheets. Anybody interested in that hot paper will be good for. Um, um, I can't talk. It'll be good for. Um, Bachelorette party. She can't talk. She can't talk. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Julie's in for three dollars. <laughs> I dated a fireman. They are troublemakers. Oh no. <laughs> Julie likes that fireman paper. <laughs> Anybody Julie. else? Julie. Julie, Julie, oh, Julie, so Julie. You gotta reach, make sure I write the right joke. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. How you doing? How you That's doing? Brooklyn. That's why Brooklyn's coming out. But have a vibrator. Penny. <laughs> Penny. Penny, she probably does. Don't ask. I unfortunately I sold all the vibrators at one of the big shows. <laughs> oh, Penny. <laughs> Now um, we know. Is that my third? That I don't know. Oh, well, here's one more. Okay. I have a pair of Coleman nylon cargo pants. These are camping pants. They're 100% waterproof, breathable, comfortable lining. Couldn't do this five dollars for, and they're size large, so it fits 36 inches to 39 inches. <laughs> oh Lord, here we go again with inches. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what that's going to lead to. I will not say Betsy, who did. Be quiet. But somebody did buy all of my vibrators. Yes, I I keep I keep sales confidential. Do tell, do tell, <laughs> do tell. <laughs> Boring unless the fire. <laughs> See, they, these are yeah, these are nice elasticized waist with a drawer cord. Ooh. We're not going to get it out of her, guys. Um, no. If anybody contacts me privately, it's a private sale. I'll leave it that uh, way. I bet it was Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Any interest in the, the, the boring Coleman pants, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need the fireman in those pants. <laughs> I got half an hour and I got to get more stuff. <laughs> All right. We're up to you, Angie. All right. <laughs> I'll need more stuff. <laughs> Good God. I'm dropping everything. All right. This is a pajama gown. It is a large and it's Laura Ashley. And as you can tell, I did not wear this. So it has little doggies on it and it's stretchable. And we're going to do $4 on it. Look how stretchy. So cute. We need a big ass needle. I'm sitting here making jewelry. It's long. Yeah, it's pajama gown. It goes down past your knees. Bexing, did we lose you? Hey, Sharon, let's bid. <laughs> yeah. I need a big ass needle. 
that's what I need, a big ass needle. You got knocked off. You wanna see what I'm making? Well, let's see, I'll show you. This is one pair, little pink balls. Here's the rings and this is another pair. I'm making these with the beads I bought from Mel. And then, so I've made three pairs since we've sat here. Here's the third pair. Yeah, yeah, baby. Love it. Pink balls. Four dollars on the Laura Ashley. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Not sir, ma'am. Stand up and put it up to me. Well. It comes, it touches my knee, touches my knee. Thank you, Julie. You like two and three, you didn't like number one. Number one is just a little hard. You can't even tell that they're pink, but they're bright pink. But on this camera, they do not look it. They're really cute. I was thinking about putting some polka dots on them. Jean wants it. Okay, Jean, you got it. It's yours. Now, let me write that down and I'll put Jean an entry into tonight's drawing. right now so i don't forget it's gene lamb right all right thank you thank you very much oops i just made something happen here and i don't know what it is okay next up this is a soma sport it's a large it is Still with tag, $59. It's a side knot tunic. There's the tags. And it's very stretchy. It's supposed to be long, like you wear leggings with it. And then it comes down to like a little knot at the bottom. It is like a Tiffany blue color, kind of. We're going to start this one at three. Do you ever make any of the leather earrings? No, I don't like them. I think they're ugly. Sorry. I make necklaces, bracelets, earrings. Um, all of my stuff is unique. Like, I'm getting ready to make some earrings out of cotton balls, beads. I think they're really cute, and I can dye some of them. And they come in different sizes. Sharon has a seam in the back. Expensive. Jean is in for three. All right, we're gonna sell it to Jean for $3. Thank you, thank you. And then my third item is another t-shirt I made. This is a small, says, you know what I like about people? They're dogs. 
and it's just a new t-shirt small starting at three. Hi, Lisa. And this is a small new t-shirt. Anybody interested? Starting bid is $3. Looking for $3 start. Thank you, Jean. I love you. And if there's no interest, we're going back to mail. We have about 20 minutes left. So the next thing I'm going to show, and I'll start at, at um, $3, is a Body Beast. It's part of the Beach Body Collection. These are DVDs to work out for, let's see, a four pack of, so you'll get Build, Build, Bulk, and Beast. And each uh, disc does a different one. This does, a, and we're going to start this off at $3. This does uh, chest, triceps, legs. This one does your shoulders and back. This one, chest, legs, back, arm, shoulders. And then cardio, total body abs. This is like the intense boot camp, build that beast body. The total hours is seven hours and 11 minutes worth of exercise. You could choose music on or music off with it. From the beach body collection. Any interest in the DV? But they... <laughs> Penny, you're not going to be ripping with muscles. He matches the fireman. I swear, he's like the same fireman dude. <laughs> <laughs> Any in interest? DVD collection. Sexy it, man. What'd you say? Sexy man. Yes, yeah, sexy fireman. Like, like where, I forgot where I put the fireman paper. Well, wherever I put it, I just put it down somewhere. He looks like the fireman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> next, next thing I have is this is a stationary set, and it's actually a really cute one. I'll do this at $2. It says, keep on smiling. The best is yet to come. And when you open it, it's cute little stationary paper that says, keep on smiling. Best yet to come. And it's a complete set. It has a pad. It has like little post-its, has little paper sheets. This one's attached a little bit, but it's in the set. So it's like a little stationary set, and it's magnetic. You just close it. That's a cute little set. From the 2014 Kayla Studio um, Tri-Coastal Designs. It says, keep on smiling, the best is just to come. Any, oops, oops. I knew that was going to happen. It fell out. <laughs> Lisa, uh, Lisa came in at two, and Carol, and you need Carol to come did. in at three. Okay. Lisa was yes, in Lisa, first, Carol. Lisa came in first for this. Best is yet to come. Carol's in at three. Anybody want to come in at four? And it's a complete set. Like you can see how many sheets you're going to get there. Pretty thick. Lisa is out. So we have Carol at three. Carol's created a corner. Three dollars. For the keep on smiling stationery. Okay, that's cool. Congratulations, Carol. And then this, I have a book. Interesting book. I'm going to do this two dollars as well. National Insecurity: American Leadership in Age of Fear by David Rothwell. It's current events, politics. It's a great way to read about living in fear of your 
National Insecurity. It's a hardcover book. Um, it's by Public Affairs New York. It is a first edition. So it has first edition on that. Um, and it's the fear of America after. Um, oh, let me see what here. It says after 9/11, so it would be 2014. So this is actually during the Obama administration. Yeah, it's it's um it's Bush through Obama administration. So actually that's interesting. Going back to 2014. Sorry, that was interesting. So it's 2014 National Insecurity American Leadership in the Age of Fear. First edition. So for those of you who like to read about how things have changed or continue, how history repeats itself, it's always good to read books like this. But it's dollars and it's crisp clean beautiful condition <laughs> any interest in the book and if there's no interest in the book i think that was my third item was yeah, it? That, yeah that was my third item i think it was yeah your turn all right i gotta put another entry for gene in the drawing i forgot okay Let's see. This is a fila. It's a large. It um, zips to right there. It has a light blue color here, a light purple color here, um, a blue color that runs down here and the sides. It has hidden pocket here. And right there is the fila sport label. We're going to start this at six. There's the back. It's just like brand new, size large. Six dollars is a start. Any interest? colors yeah it's a light lavender purple over here this is a light blue like a tiffany blue and then this is like a dark darker purple and this is black so yeah it's got colors and it's stretchy so like a workout top and that is starting at six and then I have this new tag, or new with tag. It's a large. It's made by W5. It's stretchy. It has a little knot at the bottom, little buttons up the front. I never wore it. It's brand new. We're going to start this one at five. It's a large. Here it is up close. It's like a gold color, mustard. That one starts at five. And then this one is a Daisy Fuentes, and it is a large, and it has like a little ruffle around the bottom, like a elastic type ruffle, like a baby doll top. And this one we're going to start at four. So we got four, five, and six. Any interest in any of those three? The first one Jane bid on. Jean wants the Fila for six. Right, I saw the two for six. What? I sold it to her for six. Okay, so <laughs> uh, we got Jean on the Fila for six. Thank you, Jean. What color is Daisy? Sharon said, I will take the Daisy. You got a bid, Sharon. The daisy is here. Let me show you up close. 
it's like browns different tones of browns it's just like brand new it's so cute i love the bottom and that one starts at four this one starts at five it's brand new okay sharon you got to put four in for the the daisy four 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 Okay, we have Carol in for four for the daisy. Sharon, do you want to come in at five? Thank you. Thank you for your bid. Sharon, you want to come in at five? Sharon's in at five on the Daisy Fuentes. Anybody want to come in at six? We're looking for six. We've got five. We're looking for six. <laughs> oh no, Carol's going to start up this bidding thing again. We're looking for six. We got Sh Sharon at five. Vexing, I'll call it down. Yep, jeans at six. Sharon, you want to come in at seven? Nope, she's out to Jean. So we're going to call the Daisy to Jean for $6 and she gets another entry. Into the drawing that we're fixing to have here in just a little bit. All right, and we're going back to mail. So the next thing I have is, and I'll do this for, um, and we'll do this $2. It is a floating bath bomb candle from Vinyasa Vibes India. It, um, you fill the tub with warm water, it floats on the water, you light the candle, and it'll slowly dissolve into the bath. Um, it does have aromatic influence. There's turmeric and honey with it, and it's all for relaxation. So we've got $2 for the bath bomb candle. So if you love to take baths, you just float it in the water, watch it disintegrate, and then the candle will blow out. It will be a beautiful candle. I would actually use this, but the only thing is the glittery um, stuff in the glitter. My husband hates glitter. <laughs> so well, too I can damn bad. Yeah, well, he, he has a lot of hair, so the glitter gets caught. <laughs> it's one of those things, it's like... Mm. Uh-huh. Well, I don't <laughs> even have time Back to take sing. a bath. Back sing. <laughs> well, she's on a roll. <sighs> she is on a roll tonight. Maybe that could be a good thing. <laughs> the fire can give you an instant shave. I don't know. <laughs> no comment. Any we know. Candle. <laughs> okay. The um, next item I'm going to show is uh, Mysteries of the Unexplained. How ordinary men and women have experienced the strange, the uncanny, and the incredible. I'm going to sell this for $3. It is a Reader's Digest book. Um, has pictures, has stories. It's all kind of like 
unexplained mysteries. So if you're looking for just a good weird read, and this is from, um, the only thing is there is a name printed on the inside. This is from 1987. Oh, Penny. This is going, this is going back a while. <laughs> and it's in beautiful condition. I mean, it looks like they haven't even opened this for a book. I didn't even realize it was that old. So, wow. so 1987, you can see how crisp and clean it is. It's in beautiful condition. And it's a um, picture book on the mysteries of the unexplained reader's digest. Any interest in the digest? If there's no interest in this, this will be my last item of the night because I know about the time Angie shows her stuff. I have Unleashed Doggy Tote Bag. The more people I meet, the more I like my dog. And we're, oh, Vexing bids $3. Okay, Vexing. The book is yours. Vexing wants book for $3. We've got it. Okay. And this one, um, $2 for this. The more people I meet, the more I like my dog. It's a brand new tote bag, 100% cotton. Any interest in the tote bag? Good for shopping. It's a 12 by 13 inch doggy tote bag. So good for your groceries. Good if you go to um, the pet store, you can bring this in, put the little doggy treats in. Makes a cute little gift. Oh, Julie's in. Julie's in for two dollars. See, I told you I had something for dogs. <laughs> Considering the conversation was uh, cats before. Yeah. Dogs, Any other bids? If not, it is going to Julie. Yay, Julie! Okay, that was my last item. Thank you so much. We'll go to Angie. And I know she has some good stuff and also a contest. Ooh. All right. So my last three items, and then we'll do a drawing. <laughs> this is purple. It is made by White Stag. It is a Lady Small. And we're going to start this off at $5. It is velvet purple, purple velvet, small, $5. This is One World, and it's a large. And we're going to start this one off at $5. It's really long, mm -hmm. just like new. And then this is another one of those t-shirts that I made. This is an extra large, it's purple. I dyed it purple and it has that girl on it. I don't know if you remember her or not, but anyway, that's an extra large and it's in glitter, glitter form. There's no glitter on it, but the picture as you can see has like glitter. So we're gonna start that one at three, three, five and five. If anybody's interested in any of the three of those, let me know. Or forever hold your peace. Any interest? Yeah, Marlo Thomas. I love that show. I loved her. I think she's so cute. I think that t-shirt is cute. It's purple and it's got glittery and it's just girly girl. All right. So we're going to do a drawing now. Oh, I just ran over the cord. Okay. So for every time you made a purchase, you got an entry into the drawing. And this is what you're going to win is a jewelry jar. It is full of good usable jewelry all the way to the top. I mean, I barely got the lid on it. I had to scrunch it down in there. 
and that's what you're going to win so let's do a drawing i put one in here every time you've made a purchase see who's gonna get it ah miss jean Congratulations. Yay, Jean. Yay, Jean. You are the winner of the jewelry jar. And Angie, put me in for that girl t-shirt. I'll take that one too. For that girl? Yeah. Okay. You got it. Thank you. In with mail stuff. All right. And so that's mail $3. That girl. Congratulations, Jean. Yay! Woo! Everybody give her a round of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! Thank you, thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. I put some cute stuff in there. A lot of bracelets. Really cute ones, too. Okay, so that's the end of our show tonight. Let me bring everybody up. Yay! Where'd everybody go? In the corner. There we go. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I will be sending out invoices tomorrow. How much did Jean spend? She spent seven, six, thirteen, nineteen dollars. Yeah, nineteen dollars. Okay, so yeah, we will be sending invoices out tomorrow. Mel and I both will. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Vexing, for all of your wonderful help. And thank you guys for the fun and the laughs and the good times and everything. And we'll see you Saturday night. Um, Be here Mel, Saturday. You have something tomorrow night, right? Yes. Tomorrow on my channel, I do my normal Friday night, ladies night with Laura and Mary. Then I'll be back on Saturday with Angie. And we're doing vintage old stuff. Okay. Then know it's stuff. fine, Carol. Yep, we'll be doing. I got some good vintage stuff this week that I pulled out that is like um, some good vintage magazines and recipes. My aunt that passed away not too long ago left me a box this big full of old recipes that were uh -huh. handwritten. And what the hell am I going to do with them? You know, I mean, move them. So yeah, I got some good vintage stuff. I got some, I got some more vintage hats, um, derby hats. And so let's go, let's go, let's see That's you soon. Let's do it. We'll see everybody Saturday and I'll bring out some old stuff too. And I'll probably see you all over at Mel's, Mel's house tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. <laughs> and I'll bring my mixed drink or my wine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Love crazy. you. Go get you some rest, girl. Yeah, I'm going to sleep now. So good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank Take you, Vexing. Care. Love you. Bye.